Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, welcome today. I am at the original Saugus Cafe. This is not only the oldest restaurant in Los Angeles, this is the oldest restaurant in Los Angeles and Orange Counties. It first opened in 1886, 132 years ago. It moved to this location in 1905. Now, do you know who was president in 1905? Teddy Roosevelt. He ate here. He had the New York steak and he proclaimed that it was splendid. <laughs> this is my first time here and I'm pretty excited about it. So let's head into this historic restaurant. The original Saugus Cafe began its life as the Saugus Eating House here in Santa Clarita as part of the Southern Pacific Saugus Railway Depot. <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> This was an important stop on the passenger line between Los Angeles and San Francisco. Teddy Roosevelt had his splendid New York steak at the restaurant in 1903 when it was still part of the rail depot. I've read that the restaurant moved across the street to its current location in 1905 and 1916. So I'm not sure when it moved, but it's been there for over a hundred years. Teddy Roosevelt is far from the only famous person to dine here. Over the years, this restaurant has hosted movie stars like John Wayne, Gary Cooper, Charlie Chaplin, Marlene Dietrich, Clark Gable, and more. The restaurant has a definite 1950s vibe to it with its lunch counter and padded vinyl stools. A nice touch is that some of the stools have names stitched into the backs. I'm not sure, but I believe that these are some of the owners and their family members. The waitress couldn't tell me much about them. One thing was pretty clear when I walked in. This is a neighborhood restaurant. The waitress knew most of the patrons, greeting them by their first names and catching up on what's new as she took their orders. Pretty soon she was joking with me and I felt like part of the crew. On my first visit, I thought about getting that splendid New York steak, but instead chose the famous Saugus Cafe steak, which is a sirloin. It was perfectly cooked and had a lot of flavor. I know that some chefs get offended if you put A1 on your steak, but I like that extra tartness that A1 has, and no one here had a problem with it. <laughs> the meal came with your choice of potatoes and grilled veggies. I chose the mashed potatoes with gravy. I can't tell you the number of times I have seen a plate that looks just like this, but the gravy on the mashed potatoes is watered down and tasteless. That definitely wasn't the case here. The gravy on the potatoes had a lot of flavor to it. The grilled veggies are grilled veggies. I'm not too crazy about grilled veggies, so these were as good as they're ever gonna get for me. Now, if you like grilled veggies, then you would probably love them. For dessert, I got the coconut cream pie, and yum, flavorful, light, and delicious. You can see I took a bite of it before taking a photograph. <laughs> the next time I was here, I decided to try their Islander salad, which is turkey, pineapple, walnuts, avocado, and tomato wedges on a bed of mixed greens. This was not a big pile of greens with a tiny few everything else. They were very generous with all of the ingredients. Next to the dining area is the bar. I got there early in the evening, so no one was in the bar, and I was able to get these shots without disturbing anyone. The dining room is an homage to the restaurant's past. There are a number of historical photos on the wall. The windows, the booths, the curtains, and the wall sconces are designed to emulate a railway car. There's a glass booth on one wall where they display their merch. If you want hats or tees, they've got you covered. Each time I was there, they had only one waitress who did everything. Take your order, bring your drinks, bus your table, answer the phone, handle takeout, and take your payment. In spite of all of that and everything that could go wrong, 
They were always very friendly and they kept the restaurant running smoothly. This is an inauspicious cafe with good, solid Midwest American cuisine and an incredible history of well-known Hollywood stars and political patrons. I hope this helps you find your adventure. Thank you for watching.